That result set Rangers up for an old firm final. Celtic knew that if they were not victorious, they might finish the season without winning a single trophy. Smith. The back is uh, Greg. And Smith made that look obvious. He gets it crushed and it's Cooper. It's a great goal. Well, David Cooper was a, a huge influence on the side. He, he was just a magnificent player. He can give him the ball anywhere on the park, you know, and, and he would beat a couple of people. Not the greatest right foot in the world, but see that left foot? You couldn't buy it. I can remember jumping over it as he whacked the ball into the net. Judged well. Sneddon. Keep him watching it carefully. That's an equaliser. Edmonton. Three minutes left. Villa. Johnston to Smith. Villa going on. There. And that must be Gordon Smith has scored Rangers second with three minutes left. Rangers had again proved their superiority over their old rivals. The league championship was now firmly in their sights. A crucial time. Fancy us very strongly. Again, I've got a battle fever on, but I fancy the Rangers to win the day. Holding play up a couple of times with Davy Cooper. Russell has taken up good position. Stepping inside, Bottom McLeod, and a penalty kick has been given. A penalty kick to Rangers. Right on the stroke of half time. Referee Bob Valentine once again in the ideal position to assess that. We'll see it again from the replay. Cooper playing a good ball in towards Russell. The challenge came in from Bottom McLeod, and that looks a penalty kick to me. Now, a great opportunity for. Rangers, Robert Pritz is a regular kicker, he's not in the field, but Ali McCoy will take it. He scored once already this season out of one attempt. McCoy against Bonner. Perfectly stopped away by Ali McCoy, and Rangers take the lead. Ali McCoy, the Rangers top scorer with his 17th goal of the season. And the Celtic protest continue towards the referee. It is again, you won't see penalty kicks taken better than this. McCoy sending Bonner the wrong way and lifting the Rangers supporters far to our left. I think the time now really jockeys for Celtic to be a bit more committed. They're, they're losing a final, I've got to be reminded of that. I would really push Tommy Bonds away into a wide roll, try to stretch him to have him running at, at uh, Jimmy Nichols, see if he can create something there. See if he can just start with the 15 minutes of the second half gone, is this the second for Rangers? Yes, Ali McCoy has done it. Ali McCoy makes it 2-0 for Rangers. Jubilation on the Rangers dugout. And the debate goes on among the Celtic defenders. Well, Doc Wallace certainly a happy man in the Rangers dugout. And Celtic now have a mountain to climb. But we'll see it again from a long ball from defence. Tom McCoy through the middle. And Aiken underneath it. Sandy Clark was there too. Aiken's in trouble here. Clark got the header. There was Ali McCoy, and Bonner couldn't keep it out. Mistake could arise from fatigue very easily and settle the destination of the cup. The Dominical. Yes, Aiken penalised for that rash challenge on Ali McCoy. And I really think he could have no complaint at all. Played in by Nicol. McCoy is trying to control it and screen it. Bundled away there by Roy Aiken. A clear foul and a penalty kick has been given. And the protests on the part of the Celtic players certainly are muted. Aiken trying to make a point now, although it will cut noise with referee Valentine. So Ali McCoy is now on a hat trick. McCoy facing Pat Bonner with a kick which could win the League Cup for Rangers. They made it in the second attempt. Stopping moment for Ali McCoy stand for Rangers, but McCoy made it right on the half time.
try and whistle in extra time. Well, Pat Bonner did well initially. You'll see this on the replay. McCoy didn't hit this one very hard. He didn't receive Bonner that time. A good save in the first instance. McCoy's kept very cool indeed to knock home the rebound.